Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject computer programming is string library functions. So we so far we have seen so many library functions. So these library functions are useful whenever the program is at compile time. Uh, the main program is linked with the library function and uh, it gives the result. Actually, these library functions include some predefined functions so that are used to handle. Uh, Whenever you call the function, some predefined functions and those definitions will be stored in the library functions. So let us see. What are the string library functions? So let me write the string library functions. So there are some predefined functions designed for Handling strings. So some predefined functions are designed to handle the strings which are available which are available in library in the library called string.h. So this string.h is a library file which holds all the predefined functions that are designed for handling the strings. So instead of write, for every time writing the function of that uh, particular strings, whatever we are using, those can be uh, already, de those are already designed and stored in this string.h file. So with the help of the include function preprocessor, we are including the string.h in the program and we are calling those uh, predefined functions wherever it is necessary in the program. So let us see some of the predefined uh, library string library functions are that are included in this string.h. So those files that are present in string.h are first one is string length. So string length is a, a one predefined function that definition of the string length will be present uh, is present in the string dot h library function library files next string copy next uh, string n copy string concatenate string n concatenate and uh, string compare string n compare string reverse and str str so these are the different functions that are already defined and stored in this string.h library function. Now let us see what is the use of the each function, each string function that is present in the string.h library function. So the first one is, let me write for the first string length. So the main use of this function, this function gives the length of a string so whatever the string that you are given if this function specifies the uh, the length of the string that means number of characters in a string so total number of characters that are present in a string that will be uh, displayed by this string length so here it will uh, gives the integer value so the number it will gives so the string length always it gives returns the integer value let us see the syntax of the string length so we are declaring the string length with int because the string length always gives the written value as an integer even though it is a string but the written type of the string length is integer so int string length and here you have to write the string name so this is the syntax of the string length int string length so don't write here the character even though it is a string 
but we are uh, counting the number of characters that are present in a string so counting the number of characters means it, the output of that is the integer value a number will come so that's why you have to declare it as a int string length string name so let us see the program for the string length program so hash include stdio.h for uh, calling all the input output functions and now you have to include the string.h because we are using the predefined functions that are present in the uh, string.h string length is a function that already predefined in the string.h so if you are mentioning the string length means the pro the at the time at the compile time the, the cursor will goes to that the program jumps to that string.h files and calls that particular function and executes now writing the main program main character so here i am writing the character i am declaring the character a a is the character uh, array name so here that that is the character hello this is a string constant i did initialized so int l i have taken l because i have to calculate the length of this string so l is an integer l is equal to string length that character so here a is the array name of that uh, i mean the string name you call it as a string name so whenever you mention string length of uh, string name it give, it counts the, the total number of characters that are present in the string and it stores it in the l so i have to print this l print f length of the string is equal to percent ld comma l get ch close the main program then what will be the output for this program output is length of the string what is the length of the string 1 2 3 4 5 total 5 so the length of the string is equal to 5 so here the one point you have to be remember that not so the null character will not be counted as a character so the compiler by default after the completion of the string it plays a null character so that at runtime the it understand that the string is ended after o okay so even though it a null character is stored here it will not be counted as a character so this is about the string length so in the next video, I'll explain about the next library function that is a string copy. Thank you.